Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2 p.m. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me back here at Audrey's Reading Area. I have a very special book that I will be reading to you guys today. Can you kind of tell what it's going to be about? Take a guess. Yes, it's going to be The Art Lesson. The Art Lesson by Tommy De Paola. Tommy, Tommy De Paola. Tommy De Paola. The Art Lesson. And if you enjoy listening to me read these special books to you guys, please subscribe and share my videos. Feel free to share them. Now, the art lesson, Tommy De Paola. The art lesson, it talks about Tommy knew he wanted to be an artist when he grew up. He drew pictures everywhere he went. It was his favorite thing to do. His friends had favorite things to do too. Jack collected all kinds of turtles. Herbie made huge cities in his sandbox. Jeannie, Tommy's best friend, could do cartwheels and stand on her head. But Tommy drew and drew and drew. He drew and drew and drew. His twin cousins, who were already grown up, were in art school learning to be real artists. They told him not to copy and to practice, practice, practice. So he did. Tommy put his pictures up on the walls of his half of, of his half of the bedroom. Put it up on his half of the bedroom. His mom put them up all around the house. His dad took them to the barber shop where he worked. Wow. Tom and Nana, Tommy's Irish grandfather and grandmother, had his pictures in their grocery store. Nana Fall River, his Italian grandmother, put one in a special frame on the table next to the photograph of Aunt Chloe in her wedding dress. Once Tommy took a flashlight and a pencil under the covers and drew pictures on his sheets. But when his mom changed the sheets on Monday and found them, she said, no more drawing on the sheets, Tommy. His mom and dad were having a new house built. So Tommy drew pictures of what it would look like when it was finished. When the walls were up, one of the carpenters gave Tommy a piece of bright blue chalk. Tommy took the chalk and drew beautiful pictures all over the unfinished walls. But when the painters came, his dad said, that's it, Tommy. No more drawing on the walls. Tommy couldn't wait to go to kindergarten. His brother Joe told him there was a real art teacher who came to the school to give art lessons. When do we have our art lessons? Tommy asked the kindergarten teacher. Oh, you won't have your art lessons until next year, said Miss Bird, but we are going to paint pictures tomorrow. It wasn't much fun. The paint was awful and the paper got all wrinkly. Miss Bird made the paint by pouring different colored powders into different jars and mixing them with water. The paint didn't stick to the paper very well and it cracked. If it was windy when Tom carried his pictures home, the paint blew right off the paper. <laughs> At least you get more than one piece of paper in kindergarten, his brother Joe said. When the art teacher comes, you only get one piece. Tommy knew that the art teacher came to the school 
every other Wednesday. He could tell she was an artist because she wore a blue smock over her dress and she always carried a big box of thick colored chalk. Once, Tommy and Jeannie looked at the drawings that were hung up in the hallway. They were done by the first graders. Your pictures are much better, Jeannie told Tommy. Next year, when we have real art lessons, you'll be the best one. That's a good friend, encouraging. Tommy could hardly wait. He practiced all summer. Then on his birthday, which was right after school began, his mom and dad gave him a box of 64 Crayola crayons. Regular boxes of crayons had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, and black. This box had so many other colors, blue, violet, turquoise, red, orange, pink, and even gold, silver, and copper. Class, said Miss Landers, the first grade teacher, next month the art teacher will come to our room. So on Monday, instead of singing, we will practice using our crayons. On Monday, Tommy brought his 64 crayons to school. Miss Landers was not pleased. Everyone must use the same crayon, she said, school crayons. School crayons had only the same eight colors. As Miss Landers passed them out to the class, she said, these crayons are school property, so do not break them. Peel off the paper or do not break them, do not peel off the paper or do not wear down the points. How am I supposed to practice being an artist with school crayons? Tommy asked Jack and Herbie. That's enough, Tommy, Miss Landers said, and I want you to take those birthday crayons home with you and leave them right there. And Joe was right. They only got one piece of paper. Finally, the day of the art lessons came. Tommy could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, he hid the box of 64 crayons under his sweater and went off to school. He was ready. The classroom door opened and in walked the art teacher. Miss Landers said, class, this is Mrs. Bowers, the art teacher. Patty, who is our paper monitor this week, will give out one piece of paper to each of you. And remember, don't ruin it because it is the only piece you'll get. Now pay attention to Mrs. Bowers. Class, Mrs. Bowers began, because Thanksgiving is not too far away, we will learn to draw a pilgrim man, a pilgrim woman, and a turkey. Watch carefully and copy me. Uh-oh. Copy? Copy? Tommy knew that real artists didn't copy. This was terrible. This was supposed to be real art, a real art lesson. He folded his arms and just sat there. Now what's the matter, Miss Landers asked Tommy. Asked. Tommy looked past her and spoke right to Mrs. Bowers. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up and my cousins told me that real artists don't copy. And besides, Miss Landers won't let me use my own 64 Crayola crayons. Well, well, Mrs. Bowers said, what are we going to do? She turned to Miss Landers and they whispered together. Miss Landers nodded. Now, Tommy, Mrs. Bowers said, it wouldn't be fair to let you do something different from the rest of the class. But I have an idea. If you draw the pilgrim man and women and the turkey, and if there's any time left, I'll give you another piece of paper and you can do your own picture with your own crayons. Can you do that? I'll try, Tommy said with a big smile. And he did. And he did. Nice. Nice. And he still does.
So I guess that means when Tommy grew up, he became an artist. And this is the art lesson. And I thank you guys so much for joining me here. And I just want to let you know that I have a lot of people that have drawn some stuff for me. I have students that have drawn pictures for me. One student drew this for me on his, um, on his school paper. A friend of mine drew this picture. I try to draw sometimes too, and I drew this picture. I'm not the greatest in the world. My little cousin, my little cousin Penny drew this for me. She knows that I love tigers. And Penny drew this for me. Let me show you some more. My grandbaby Korea grew these pictures. She drew these pictures for me. I had my sister drew this picture and gave me, she painted it and gave it to me, my sister Rita. And I have another picture that a student drew for me because they know that I like tigers. So they've been drawing all these tiger pictures for me. And by the way, this drawing in the back right here, that's supposed to be me. I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm trying to have that in all my, my videos. My brother John drew this to me. He actually painted this picture of me on his door in our house when we lived in my, my, my parents' house. And I took this door with me when my parents sold the house, took the door with me from place to place wherever I went. And I finally found somebody that would actually cut the picture out of the door. So that was actually his room door. And he's got a little peephole in the eye. But yes, my brother drew that one. So since this is all about art lessons and the art lesson, I just wanted you guys to know and see a little bit of the drawings that people have drawn for me. Now, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing and listening to me read these exciting and fun books to you guys and watching all these, look at checking out all these um, drawings, especially look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, Penny, Penny, shout out to Penny. Penelope, Penny, my cousin's daughter, Penny. Yes, and thank you guys so much for checking out all my drawings that people have drawn and given me and listening to me read to you. So please share this, share this very special video. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you like it. Thank you so much, you guys, and see you tomorrow at two. All right, all right, all right.